Hi, let's quickly solve for the value of x. This is JJ Online Math Class, and you are highly welcome, okay? The value of x is actually very easy to solve, since we can put everything in base 10, okay? So we have 10 to the power of x, plus 10 squared to the power of x, is equal to 10 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Okay, now uh, I want us to recall the law of exponents or indices that states that a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m n. That is m times n. So that simply means that we can write a to the power of n raised to the power of m and we are still going to get the same thing. Okay, so that means that the position of the powers can be interchanged. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we do that here, we will have that 10 to the power of x plus 10x squared, excuse me, is equal to 10x to the power of 3. Now let's 10 to the power of x be equal to y, all right? If we make that statement, that means we have that y plus y squared is equal to y to the power of 3. Now, notice that we just formed a cubic equation. So let's transfer everything to this side of the equation to arrange it well. If we do that, we have y to the power of 3 plus 2y we, plus y squared we cross to become minus y squared. And plus y we cross to become minus y is equal to 0. So let's factorize y out. We have y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, if we divide through by y, we are going to have that y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, now, so we have a quadratic equation here. So let's solve this using quadratic equation formula. And the quadratic equation formula states that this y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, in this case, in this case, I want you to note that uh, A is the coefficient of y squared, which is 1. Uh, B is coefficient of y, which is minus 1. And uh, C is a uh, constant, which is also minus 1. So if we should substitute this into this equation, our uh, y is equal to, recall that we are not looking for the value of y, rather we are looking for the value of x, okay? So our uh, y is equal to minus B, that is minus minus 1, which is 1 plus or minus square root of b squared, that is minus 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4ac. That is 4 times 1 times minus 1, which is minus 4, okay? Divided by 2a, that is 2 times 1, which is 2. So we have that y is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5, divided by 2. All right, so that means we have two values of our y here. Now, the first value is that y1 is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2, okay? This is 5. And y2 is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Now, for this particular side, we are going to get a negative number here, right? So this place is not going to give us a real root. It's going to give us a uh, complex root. Therefore, we are not going to use this. We are going to ignore this now we continue with this that's y is equal to one plus root five over two now recall that our y is equal to 10 to the power of x right so we write that 10 to the power of x is equal to one plus root five over two now let's introduce log reading to both sides of this equation if we do that we have log 10 to the power of x is equal to log, that is log to base 10 for each of them, of 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now, using the power rule, the power rule states that if you have your power, you can bring down the power to multiply your log, okay? That means we can write this as x multiplied by log 10 is equal to log what? 1 plus root 5 over 2. Okay, now log 10 is 1, log to base 10 of 10 is 1. So that simply means that x is log to base 10 of what? 1 plus root 5 over 2. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.